patient who underwent a dual chamber pacemaker implantation for high grade AV block two months prior to presentation. She's now hospitalized for a TIA. Cardiology was consulted in, uh, for consideration of a BEE and a pacemaker evaluation for subclinical AFED. Patient denied any palpitations, however, had, uh, has been told that she has irregular heartbeat. The Vichef shows normally parameters and three modes which act the swords lasting less than five minutes. What's the next best step? Would you do a BEE uh, to look for uh, cardioembolic sources, get a chest x-ray, start anticoagulation given the PIA uh, clinical picture, open a transcalastic echo, or continue remote monitoring of the pacemaker and start anticoagulation if longer episodes of AF are detected. And this is your ECG. So let you look at the ECG for a few seconds. Uh, we'll do a chest x-ray. And the reason is that if we go back to the ECG, I told you this is a dual chamber pacemaker and what you expect in an RV lead is to get a left bundle morphology in V1, RV being the anterior chamber. The fact that you have a right bundle branch clock morphology should make you think of uh, placement in the left ventricle. And that's exactly what happened in this case. So if you look at the X-ray, you see the RV lead, it sort of comes midline and goes to the apex. Now, if this was in the venous system, it should generally be having the right wall of the heart and coming through the tricuspid valve down here. And in the um, view, lateral view helps, again, it's more posteriorly directed. But uh, this gives away the answer along with the ECG. So in this case, uh, the lead had to be revised. And unfortunately, patient had a plot on the lead leading to her PIA.